it was a tragedy. We did shoot down an airliner. One of those things you're just, you're, I'm still in disbelief that it could have happened. The mood in the Gulf was very tense. I ran Iraq, we're in the middle of a, a war at the time, and uh, the US Navy was protecting the oil tankers that came out of Kuwait to uh, make sure the flow of oil kept coming to the United States. And the Iranians were harassing those ships, the bog hammer speedboats that the Iranians were using. They would round robin the ships while they're shooting it, trying to catch it on fire. So our job was just kind of like a police force, if you will. We come back this way, see there's water. The team I was with was Combat Camera Group. I'm videotaping the whole time. And I caught a ride with the USS Vincent, an Aegis cruiser. It's a billion dollar boat, state of the art at the time. As we were sailing back to Bahrain, we got into a battle with Iranian speedboats. During a gunboat battle, we were thinking that they're going to come at us with whatever they have now, and that would have been their Air Force. The year before, 1987, the USS Stark got hit by an Exocet missile that was launched by Iraq. We were always reminded, you know, just remember the Stark, remember the Stark. Meaning, keep your guard up, because you might get killed. That was always in the back of your mind. And uh, about five minutes went by, and they said there was a target that had left Bandar Abbas, the Iranian airfield. And the military airport and their civilian airport, to my knowledge, is, is the same place. So the aircraft, when it took off, was identified as air hostile. They thought it was the Iranian Air Force, F-14 Tomcat. But the plane in reality was Flight 655. It was an airliner, an Airbus. Five times a week, there's a scheduled service from Bandar Abbas across the strait to Dubai. They travel flight path Amber 5 but here the crew is, waiting for another target to come at them, and the aircraft takes off. And uh, I believe that one of the lieutenants, I went up and asked him, I said, What's, what are we doing? He goes, you're going to see some missile action. And I went to the operation specialist who was watching the scope, and he's watching the missiles because he can track it off the radar, and then he sees it hit the target. But they found out like 15, 20 minutes later that there was an airliner missing. An Iranian Airbus is presumed crashed. Please look for survivors or aircraft wreckage. And so that's when it was like, what? Airliner missing? Uh, we didn't shoot an airliner, we shot a Tomcat, I thought. There was a lot of soul searching, disbelief. That's not supposed to happen. That's not what we were here to do. 290 civilians passed away on flight 655. And of those 290, 66 were children. Felt so bad for the families that lost their loved ones. and. Sometimes you're part of history and you love it, and sometimes you're part of history and you hate it. This is just one of those things where I just wish it didn't happen, but I was there. <laughs>